Welcome to Gabe's Aquarium. I haven't posted in a long time, so I wanted to give an update on my tank. Most recently, I added um, these awesome, awesome fish here. Um, the red and blue ones uh, schooling together are called the Cardinal Tetra. Um, and so I just added like 19. I went to my local fish store. Uh, they had a beautiful planted tank set up and these guys were in there. And at first I was like, mm, let me get like seven. And then I was like, mm, let me get like 10 or 11. And then I was just, you know, like if I'm going to get these guys, I might as well take them all home. Cause you know, I don't want to get like, you know, like 10 and like leave, I don't know, like nine behind. And they're like, Hey, where's like half my family or, you know, take like 17 and leave like three behind. And they're like, yeah, where's, <laughs> you know, they'd be stressed out because they're not in a full family. So I don't know. I just felt like they were like a whole family and, um, I wanted to keep them all together. So they ended up giving me a great discount, uh, only charged me for 15 and I got 19. So, um, as far as, you know, buying in bulk goes, um, I got a discount. So that was nice. So yeah, they've, they've added a lot of, um, kind of action and liveliness to the tank and really before I had these guys I only had the uh eight ember tetra and so my tank was really really understocked but um so yeah I'll take a look at the tank and kind of show you a little up close action here I recently hacked back a lot of growth so I can see the rocks again before the rocks were completely overgrown by um, just some of these crypts here had gotten out of control and um, some of the AR mini has gotten out of control and I really, really cut that back. But now you can see the boost of Philandra. And before the boost was just pretty much overgrown, really loving the Pogostem and Erectus behind the um, in the background there, it's kind of, uh, filled out and I had to trim that as well. Cause I, I basically planted the entire, uh, tissue culture cup. It was, a <laughs> like a, a Tropica one, two grow tissue culture cup. I basically like planted the whole cup there. Uh, yeah, I don't recommend that. It's not a good way to, um, to plant. So I had to uproot everything and then I just planted some individual stems and uh, now it still looks very full, but it's healthier because the light can penetrate the roots. Whereas before it was just so much in one spot that the light had a hard time um, like penetrating the roots. So some of it was um, not very good. I also trimmed back, come on, let's get closer here. Um, all of the uh, Star Agine Repens uh, was it was beautiful and I'm, I'm sort of semi kind of sad that I cut everything back so much, but it's regrowing as you can see. But um, it was getting too tall, so I decided to trim that down and it's growing back as well. Um, and I just left the Pogo Stem and Hellfire Eye over here on the right. I haven't touched it just because I think it looks natural and a uh, natural look is what I'm going for. Which brings me to my next uh, topic of discussion, this path. I don't know, man. I just don't think it looks very natural. Um, I like how it does kind of create uh, a divide between the the left side and the right side, but it just, something about it just has always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. It just doesn't look quite right. So I've been considering just pulling all of the gravel out and then filling it back in with... Um, some just aqua soil and just having it be just one piece. Um, I've, I've looked at using sand before, which is a real pain in the butt to work with and it gets everywhere and uh, it's hard to work with and I, I'm not sure I want to do sand. Um, so yeah, I, I'm considering just maybe making a little valley there with some aqua soil and letting the plants kind of naturally fill that in. Um, I think it might look nicer. I would love to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Should I change out this path? 
Um, I've, I've added some barriers here, some plastic barriers going there and going there. So it's really easy to siphon out the, um, the gravel and replace it with a different material. Um, I might even just siphon out the gravel and like completely remove the barriers if I do plan on putting in some aqua soil there but let me know what your thoughts are um so that's my tank in a nutshell lately um loving the new uh cardinal tetras hope you guys like the um added fish and uh please like comment subscribe thanks for swimming by and i'll see you later